What are the ten elements that are in there? It's, of course, what are you know, laws and regulations, personal information, policies, procedures, uh, responsibility, accountability, as mentioned, but how is that in your organization or in your realm uh, taking place? Personal data storage, uh, protection mechanisms, and I, I saw the presentation from Allianz, and I, I was fascinated by it. On the other hand, I was thinking, okay, but that sounds a lot like security as well, so there's a big overlap in my opinion. And indeed, yes, the, the legal aspects are maybe different, but there's so much overlap with security officers, so maybe we already have a person who's doing this kind of thing. So protection mechanisms, you're looking not only at uh, things which are technical, but also in culture. Disclosure to third parties, training. Are people aware? Because I see a lot of, in practice, in my audit experience, a lot of people have a bunch of binders sitting in the cupboard, nobody knows. You go to a receptionist, you go to the master, sec of sec uh, some master secretary, whatever, nobody knows what to do. Uh, yeah, we have somebody and we ask questions. That's not how it should be. What is training? Resources allocated, and you know, I have my famous as auditor, the guinea pig. I always take my guinea pig or saving pig to an audit we uh, encounter. And as soon as somebody says, yeah, but Mark, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough people. One euro in the guinea pig, in the saving pig. Why? Because everybody has lack of resources and money and time and budgets. I mean, live with it. Just focus on what's essential. <laughs> So in that sense, resources, how to apply it smartly, and finally, are they periodically assessed? And I think also that's a, a factor that we see in audits is that people have a lot of policies, procedures, but nobody on the inside, but also on the outside, dares to confront with what do we do, what do, we do? well, what can we still improve, where's the gap? And expect, and expect the level of management, what does management expect, um, ask them as well. What do they expect from a management level? And that's sometimes also awkward, but you have to ask it. From a privacy controls perspective, um, for those who know COSO, uh, it's a kind of United Nations control framework. Uh, I liked the presentation. I said, nothing is new. Uh, uh, we heard this morning. I fully agree. Nothing is new. COSO, this is also enterprise risk management. All the things you see here, internal environment, objective setting, event identification, risk assessment, risk response, control, communication, monitoring, this is nothing new. This is also from the 80s. It's just that, yes, people didn't connect those dots with each other. And it's important from an auditor's perspective that auditors also use some guidelines, and we also use this as kind of a benchmark. And I'll, I'll go to some of these elements, um, but what I also like is, again, if you, read, if you read audit reports, I know a lot of people write to read documents and texts, but more and more people, and that's also an evolution, thanks to, or due to, or because of the internet, are becoming visual. They want to see, yeah, but show me, how good is this? And if you can read a lot of audit reports like, I've read it, now what's the result? Are we good, or bad, or are we compliant, or what? Well, we use more and more what we call, and again, nothing new, it's a maturity control. It's the capability maturity model. Again, auditors like to use that. It's a zero to five scale, so a six scale. And you can go from zero, which is not good, to five, which is, whoa, best of class. Now, what you see is that people in management don't expect best of class because they know it's very expensive or it's, you know, very, uh, it will take a lot of resources. They say, well, you know, if it's, you know, a four, it's already pretty good. We're already okay because we have to build this. And, and for me also, an author will put a line here. If a manager says, well, I expect a two, it's like, don't bother doing an audit, because if you yourself as manager says, we need to improve or to solve it, why on earth do you have to audit this? To show your point that you are right, and to put the knife deeper in the wound? Really? No. So we expect that this is an acceptable or a good level. Excellent, there might be an issue in some areas. And then you see a little bit what the definition is for each of those in order to explain. And it's very important that everybody understands the scale. 